Hi, everybody. I am in beautiful Appleton, Tennessee, and this place is unique because it was home to the very last battle of the Civil War in Tennessee. It was a Confederate victory. It was the forces under Nathan Bedford Forrest who was commanding the rear guard of the Army of Tennessee. Now, the Army of Tennessee had had a disastrous battle at the Battle of Franklin where they had lost numerous generals, tens of thousands of men, and they were on the retreat trying to make it back to Confederate lines in Alabama. The Union did not want them to do this. They wanted to crush what remained of the Army of Tennessee, which had shrunk from upwards of 70,000 down to as little as 25 to 30,000 troops. Now, the Union forces would force battles at two different occasions, one near Anthony Hill, which you see represented here. This is video of the, the actual site that the skirmish took place, and then another one here at Sugar Creek. Both of those Confederate wins under the forces of Nathan Bedford Forrest. In both engagements, Union forces under General Wilson faced less than ideal situations. At the Battle of Anthony's Hill, for example, Union forces had to come up through fog-like conditions up a hill. Confederates were already entrenched and were able to train their artillery on the Union forces and uh, beat them back pretty significantly. At the Battle of Sugar Creek, which was really the Union's last opportunity to try and stop this significant number of men from reaching the Confederate lines. Again, under less than ideal situations, Union forces encountered a Confederate army that was ready for them. Now, did this have any bearing on the Civil War? We said it was the last two battles in Tennessee. It had significant bearing. The fact that the Army of Tennessee was able to rejoin Confederate forces with a size of 30,000 plus men or so, really meant that the war continued on well into 1865. And had the forces been stopped at this point, been delayed, it could have potentially brought the end of the war in 1864. Now, it's highly doubtful it would have happened that quick. We were talking Christmas, the few days after Christmas of 1864, but the fact that the war continued well into 1865 was helped out by the Confederate wins in these battles. And another cool place that just so happens to be right here in Appleton is the Big Red Store. Now, this was one of the first general store, old mercantile stores in the area, one of the largest in Tennessee at the time, one of the largest in the United States in the early 1900s. People would come for miles to get anything and everything here at the Big Red Store. I mean, that's when it used to, when you would make a trip into the store, it was a big deal. You might go once a week, once every couple weeks. And for those in the community, they were obviously here every day to go to the soda fountain, get a drink to catch up on what was going on in the community. You know, many people, their grandparents grew up here. Sometimes their parents were here and would tell stories of this place. And the Boyd family that lived right next door to the Big Red Store for years would see it going down and wanted to do something about it. And so finally, they bought it and they did. They restored it. The, the Boyd's picture here restored it to its original glory. And now the current owner, Hooper Inman, opens it up to the public. Now, of course, before the pandemic, it was open all the time. Now it's open by appointment, and as things are starting to lessen, I'm sure that it'll get back to being open on a regular basis, but they do a big thing at Christmas, and a lot of people have fun experiencing the Big Red Store just like their family used to. So when they get going or when we can get an appointment to come by and see it, I'll make sure to come and properly document the Big Red Store. It's had a, a lot of owners over its history. In fact, it was even sold at, at auction back in 1919. Just a lot of history here. Well, it's been a, a fun time in Appleton, Tennessee. I guess I'm gonna head on back to the house. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you that come here and watch and leave comments. Please keep watching and I'll keep making them. Thanks so much, everybody.